All right, everybody. I am back with a brand new DC update. And I just have to laugh at this point uh, because the first photos, uh, official photos, well, not official from Warner Brothers, but official from the Superman set were just released on social media. And this has got to be the most ridiculous thing ever. And I'm telling you right now that this goes to show you that they are going super cheap with the production. And we're going to look at a couple of these photos. And we're also going to talk about what this actually means and what it could mean for the film itself. Uh, I've got a couple of photos here to go through. And the first is, doesn't have to do with those set photos, but we're going to look at something. And I don't know how true this is, but this makes sense. And we're going to talk about this as well. So let's jump into these photos. So first up, this comes from Cine House, And I'm not sure if this is true or not, but it w I wouldn't put it past the studio to do something like this. It says reports at Warner Brothers have stated that executives don't want to use the S that was presented to fans for the film formerly known as Superman Legacy, but they want to use the traditional S for marketing purposes. Now, I totally believe that this is probably the case. Now, I don't know if this report is true or not. So I don't want people to come after me and saying I'm reporting false information. I do not know if this is true or not. But let's, for the sake of the argument, say that this is true. This goes back to what I talked about in my past videos, uh, previous videos, like very previous, very recent videos, that they're going after an audience that doesn't exist. They're hoping to grab a whole new group of people that does not exist. And the only thing that I'm glad in regards to this logo is the fact that it is red and yellow and that they didn't go with all black because I think you would have lost the entire audience if you, if you had done black and white like it shows here. And I told everybody that they have to continue to use the traditional S if they want to get the mainstream audience. But they may have changed it enough to scare the executives to want to do something else. And this does not look good on the film itself. And on, it doesn't reflect well on James Gunn. It doesn't reflect well on the marketing and what they have. They have fears. And this goes to show you that Warner Brothers has fears. And I bet this was brought up by some of their investors that they're, I do believe that James Gunn is going in a direction that nobody is going to be interested in. And this is a slippery slope, people. It's a slippery slope to be in this position and to want to try to, something, try to do something bold and new when you're trying to grab the mainstream audience. And this film has to be a massive success. Now, what I'm going to show you next is going to be a massive failure for the film. All right, so... This comes from DC Film News, who they are trying to make themselves out to be a big, good source of, of information coming from DC. And it says, this is the first look at Maria Gabriella de Ferraria as the engineer on the set of Superman. What? Look at this. What the heck? This is not what the engineer looks like from the comic books. This likes this just looks like some CW badass woman dressed up to play a character. This does not look anything like the engineer. And hey, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I am not an authority on the authority. I am not uber familiar with that group of characters. I am not all that familiar with the engineer, but I definitely know what the engineer looks like. And this is not the engineer. And let's look at some other photos. Here's another closer shot. Uh, she's definitely in a rig to make it look like she's probably going to be flying or floating. And this is weird. And notice that there are no green screens around her. This is out in the open. And I don't know if they're doing this as a test. And we're going to talk about what this could possibly mean. But let's look at several other photos. So here's a better shot of the costume. And so this tells you this is not just normal clothing. This isn't somebody would somebody would be wearing out in public. She's definitely in a rig to make it look like she's floating. 
And I just, I are they going to CGI over her entirely? She has no green dots on her. Okay, so there's nothing on her unless these little white things uh, that looks like it's in her hair, maybe some on the costume. There's a few uh, on her shoulders there for purposes of doing CGI later. Are they going to turn her all silver? Like, we're going to look at what the engineer looks like here in a minute. So here's another shot. And, yeah, those those could definitely be uh, definitely some 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 markers for doing CGI in the future. But if she's going to look like this in the movie, like, come on, people. Come on. This does not, this reeks of cheap, extremely cheap. Now, here are actual photos of what the engineer looks like. She's all silver. She looks nothing like the character we just saw. Nothing like the character we just saw. Here's another shot. So, these are actual photos of the engineer from the authority. What is James Gunn doing? Now, this could be a thing where maybe, just maybe, this is when she first becomes the engineer. Now, I don't know the history on the engineer, guys, so you may have to help me on this. Is she some creature from another world, and this is who she is? Does she mimic people? I don't know enough about the engineer to be able to talk in the sense of the character itself. But maybe she's transforming into the engineer and that's an earlier human form? Like, I don't know. I don't know. But if that's what they're going to do in the movie, my gosh, that is not comic accurate. And that is definitely cheap. It definitely reeks of being cheap. And I have fears that this movie is going to be extremely cheap. So there you guys have it. The first photos from the Superman set. And it looks like there's, yeah, I don't see any green screen around. I don't see anything other than those those three, well, six, three on each side, those markers that might be for CGI. Like, what are they doing? This definitely reeks of being cheap. I, there's no other way to put it. I have real fears. And, of course, we're going to have to wait until they actually re- release real footage because we don't know what they're going to do with this. But just hope and pray that that is going to be transformed in a big way for when the movie actually comes out. Because if she looks like what we just saw in the film, that's going to be a huge fail. I don't see any way in which they're going to make that work. I just don't. And as far as the shield goes, I just don't think, I think the shield, it's going to tell you something if, if we do see marketing with a traditional shield and not the shield used for Superman, because I don't think there's ever been another movie where the marketing was different from what the film itself was. I mean, other than showing scenes that weren't, that were, you know, made it to the trailer that never made it in the film. But I don't think they've ever done a marketing thing where they show this off to the side as something different than it's going to be represented in the film. I just don't think they've ever done that. And so there might have been a little bit of that with Batman back in 89, if I'm not mistaken. But it wasn't to a big degree where the symbol that they're, they're using to promote the film is completely different than what they're using in the actual movie itself. Uh, So we're going to have to wait and see what happens, but man alive, I just, everything about what I'm seeing, it just makes me more nervous. I'm not going to lie. I'm already on eggshells to begin with for wanting to be excited for this movie, but everything I see just knocks it, knocks it down a couple of pegs. And I just don't see how this is going to work. I just don't. All right. What are your guys thoughts on, on these photos that just got released and everything that is happening. I do appreciate the support. We will see you on the next video.